Hi, uh, my name is Stephanie. I am a pediatric inpatient nurse. I'm 31 years old and I've been a practicing nurse in the hospital setting for over eight years now. It's changed in the same way that everyone else's has, I think. It's um, not being able to see family, not being able to go out and do the things that you're used to doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, just being more mindful of uh, exposure and how often you go out, trying to bulk activities, things like that. Uh, it's been an added challenge. Uh, professionally, it's been, I think, a bit more difficult because the job market for nursing has been that um, you kind of have to go where the pandemic is hitting hardest if you want to have a job. All other areas, because uh, elective surgeries have been canceled, people are socially distancing, uh, our normal viruses that we see and cause hospitalizations aren't happening. So the patient load in the hospital at any given time, if it's not a hot spot for uh, COVID-19, the numbers are drastically lower. Um, I, I think it's just been a really lonely, isolating year for everybody in the US and everywhere, but I mean, especially here. And I'm just really looking forward to it being over. Um, we moved to Seattle in August and we haven't had the opportunity to make any friends. It's just been my husband and I. And while I'm so grateful that I even have somebody to be with during all of this, I know that there's a lot of people who don't. And it's just so lonely, you know? And I'm, I'm just ready for it to be over. Kids coping with the virus, I don't think has really changed a whole lot. I think um, they've always been privy to what's going on and the fear that everyone feels. Sometimes we'll have kids, younger kids come in. We had one little guy come in and he had a virus and they, you know, the doctor was talking about it and the kid just chimed in like, is it COVID? And you could see the fear on his face and the doctor was like, no, no, it's not COVID. You know, you're fine. And it was like, oh, you know, thank goodness. I don't really know. I, I think I'm still hopeful. Uh, I, I kind of, I see the numbers. I, I see the progress we're making. I am fortunate uh, enough to have been fully vaccinated already. Uh, my husband is the same. My family, my parents who are older have gotten their vaccines. Uh, so I, I can see the change happening and I realistically have always known that COVID will never go away. It'll always be there just like you know any other virus that's kind of impossible to just totally eradicate. But having, you know, the vaccine and getting it in people's arms and seeing all the communities come out and have, you know, vaccine drives at big stadiums just to try and get as many people vaccinated as they can, I think is really encouraging. I'm cautiously optimistic about you know, getting back to some semblance of normalcy by the end of this summer of 2021. I would love to be able to go out and breathe some fresh air without a mask on. That would be nice.